We now place the paladin matrix to reconstitute to six. The matrices will be inserted distally and majorly using tweezers. These matrices are very fine to facilitate the reproduction of the contact points. You can see the matrix being fitted to the distal cervical wall. The curved form facilitates the anatomical reconstruction. We insert a wooden wedge to ensure a perfect fit, this wedge being forced into the interproximal space. The paladin matrix band is also inserted measurely, as you can see followed by the wooden wedge. We finish by placing the bytine round wing. However, as it is a large medial distal occlusal cavity, a first bytine round ring is inserted measurely and a second bytine oval ring placed distally ensuring a good view of the clinical field. Here, the entire metric system is now in place and you can see it gives us totally satisfactory access to the cavity. X-flow is now applied into the bottom of the cavity as a liner in a continuous procedure to avoid any inclusion of air and you can see that the product's consistency makes it very easy to place. We are still within the practitioner's control. We use the opaque shade OA3 to mask the dentine that has a grey discoloration caused by corrosion of the amalgam. We apply a second layer of X-Flow OA3 into the medial section. This shade will be polymerized for 40 seconds. Quicksfill posterior restorative will be used to complete the entire occlusal filling and will require only very few steps to fill the whole cavity due to the fact that this material can be polymerized in deep layers, up to 4 minutes at once, cured in 10 seconds. The composite is spread out using a condenser and the final increment will be used to shape the occlusal surface. As you can see, the material never sticks to the instruments, which makes placement a lot easier and faster. The finishing of the restoration is done classically using first a finishing burr mounted on a counter angle. This permits us to eliminate excess material and to reconstruct good occlusal anatomy. We can see here the finishing step of the second molar and the subsequent polishing. A single polishing instrument such as POGO lets us obtain a good shine on the various fillings. We can now see all the fillings in place, how they fit and excellent quality of the anatomic reconstruction. Comestically, they show a good integration and adaptation to the surrounding teeth. It is especially true of the two six due to the presence of the opaque shade of X-Flow that has masked the unsightly discoloration caused by the amalgam. On the post-operative X-ray, the difference in radio-opacity between materials is visible. X-Flow is clearly less radio-opaque than Quicksville. However, we can recall that the radio-opacity is much the same as in Amal. To conclude, we have seen how easy it is to use the flower composite X-Flow in three totally different clinical situations. In a premolar, we experienced the ease of insertion of the X-Flow universal flower composite into a distal cavity without opening the marginal crest. In the second molar, 
We are able to apply the flowable material X-flow directly into a small cavity with a very small opening without risking the inclusions of air bubbles. Finally, in the first mower, we use the flowable restorative material X-flow as a liner at the bottom of the cavity. In all cases, we obtain total satisfaction with the quality of the restorations realized with the two materials, X-flow and the Quicksville.